How's it going, James? OnlineCarShow.net. In this video, we're going to be going over custom emblems for the Corvette ZR1. So without hesitation, let's get this video started. Well, just to go over channel news, events, and what's been going on, we've got the Crew on Deck toy drive coming up, and in the previous video, I put their Instagram wrong. It's Crew on Deck HTX. Uh, so be sure to go out, give them a follow on in Instagram, check out this toy drive. They always put on huge events. It's been in, they've been in magazines and so forth for the amount of people and call the car culture that shows up. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a DJ, music, all sorts of stuff. Be sure to go check them out. Also, some other events coming up this weekend for the Car Club, United Muscle Car Family. We've got a photo shoot coming up. Uh, J.D. Morton sounds like it's going to show up. He's a photographer, uh, does really good job. He's done uh, three photo shoots I've gone to so far, and all the pictures have been awesome. Uh, if you need a photo shoot, a photographer for car here locally in Houston, check him out. That's J.D. Morton underscore on Instagram. Uh, as far as upcoming stuff for the channel, uh, I do need to edit the website to add the mods. You can go through my mod list for the Corvette, Camaro, and Focus on the website, onlinecarshow.net. It's got a nice breakdown, and I've also got everything organized in a playlist here on YouTube. Uh, so be sure to check out my playlist. As always, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe below. It helps my videos to grow and helps support my channel. Now to get on to the video at hand, uh, we've got some custom emblems and these things are badass. I'm going to show you some pictures now of these custom emblems. Uh, I can't remember who originally told me about this guy on Instagram and I feel bad. I don't, I don't know that name, but a guy reached out to me. He knew I needed emblems. As you can see a picture here, of my old emblems. They're horribly painted, whoever did the job previously on the car, and they just didn't look good. It was time for them to go. The front flags were actually peeling off, uh, as well as the rear flags on the Corvette. So I got two new sets of flags. I got new ZR1 emblems on both sides, and one ZR1 bumper emblem that's you know the same type as the side ones. All five emblems through him was under $200. That's an amazing price for custom cut emblems. He does a whole assortment of stuff. Uh, as you can see here, I'll show a couple of pictures of his Instagram. He's got everything from trucks to Camaros to Corvettes. Uh, you name it, he can probably make it. So if you need any kind of custom emblem made for your car, what, regardless of what it does, hit him up. I think these were made out of uh, aluminum or some kind of light metal. The machining work on them is really good. If you can see here in the picture, uh, the sizing was fairly good. It was just a millimeter shorter on the side emblems than the, the stock emblems, uh, but the fitment was really freaking close. And I don't think I could have got a better job anywhere else. Go hit this guy up that makes him his Instagram name, and I'm not going to say it out, uh, but it's 0FX2GV. And I'll put a link here below and I'll have a link to everything that I'm mentioning here in the description for y'all to go check them out. Uh, now I'm going to go over how to install them and I'm also going to be installing some rear Corvette emblem on the back bumper and I'll go through the install with y'all on that. Alright, since these are already have been installed on the car, I'm not going to go over the install of this. I'll show you a little bit on the back as far as, you know, getting emblems onto your car, etc. And Heat Gun is your buddy in this whole process. but. To remove the old one, one thing you want to do first to prepare for the placement of the second one is you want to get some painter's blue tape and get the one with the lightest sticky material on the back. They have different levels of sticky with that blue tape and you want to find the one that has the least amount of sticky because it's the least chance it'll damage your paint. And you don't want to leave that on your car for a long period of time on top of that. But anyways, mark off with blue tape where the old one was, go all the way around it and then what you want to do, and as you've got your blue tape on the edges to also help protect your paint from popping it off, but use your heat gun thoroughly on the old emblem and then get you a little plastic pry tool, and I'll put a link to Amazon if you don't have them, they're 10, 15 bucks, not much. 
but get you a little plastic interior tool and just start prying the old one off. It came off fairly easy. Uh, you can use some general purpose cleaner to get the uh, old sticky residue off. Uh, but anyways, get the old emblem off, all of the sticky, and then you use your general all-purpose cleaner, clean off any residue, any kind of wax buildup, anything that might be there. And then you, after that, you want to get your alcohol swipes. Swipe the area very good, and then heat it up with your heat gun and place the new emblem. It's that freaking simple. Uh, the guy uses high-end red 3M tape that sticks very good. It's used for all kinds of emblems by you know, car manufacturers and so forth. It's probably one of the best double-sided tapes on the market. Very easy install. Now I'm gonna cut to the clip of the rear uh, Corvette emblems and then I'll give you all a shot of everything on the car. Please excuse how dirty the car is though. 